Scott, we've certainly found our shooting boots of late. The last four games have produced 18 goals. That's 4.5 average. You must be happy with that. Yeah, getting back to where we were, um, you know, early on in the season, we were getting six goals and five goals and, and whatever else. I think we got two sixes, didn't we? So uh, very encouraging, and it was just just a matter of time, really, that we were um, going to get back to that because you don't just go on a run of performing and consistent results, scoring goals and and whatever, and then just all of a sudden you, you just can't find that. It, it happens all over at all different types of levels. So uh, it's glad to be. I'm glad that we're in a positive shape now and in a good vein of form and while it's goals galore at one end it's the tightest defence in the JD Welsh Premier League at the other just 12 conceded in 21 games to date yeah and also very good as well um, we, we have uh, targets that we've, we've we've certainly very much on uh, uh, on course to, to meet there with a with the goals conceded and it's it's, it's, a, it's a platform that you want to base your performances on um, you know, obviously Steve being a being a, a resolute defender and a um, a winner always enjoys clean sheets, and, and that's what we try and put through to the to the players. You know, you, you get clean sheets, and and you're halfway there, aren't you? You know, you you, you get a um, you get a run of these as well, and and it hurts when when somebody else scores or or, or nearly scores. So if you keep that run going and, and keep the you know the opposition away from our goal, we has got a chance of winning that game. And as we look ahead to the visit of Flanethley Town AFC, there is an added spice into the mix, of course, the Leon Britton factor. Yeah, watching their highlights the other day was uh, um, obviously an inspiration for them, um, getting that win against Clan Dudno. And, uh, you know, they're fighting for their lives down there and they, they want to pick up as many points as they can. Um, hopefully not on Saturday. They won't, you know, we're looking that they don't get anywhere near us, but with him playing and, and, and orchestrating things, his experience is vital for them and um, I'm sure he'll give them a lift and a boost. As you said, they're fighting for survival at the one end, so it's an important game for them. Cool. Equally so for the New Saints. We have closed that gap now at the top, still in third place, but it's very, very tight indeed going into the final game of the first phase. Yeah, one more game to go and then you've got the, the 10 um, after that split, so we're, uh, we're in good shape. It's it's probably um, been many years now where we've, if you know, if we even if we win on um, on Saturday and the other two get positive results, then uh, you know, it looks like we're going to be in third position. But I can't remember the last time we were in this position um, in a, in a January. But not to worry, we're not we're not too far behind. We're on their tails, and uh, where we keep pushing, um, and all we can do is keep winning our games. As you stated as a manager on many occasions that it's first and foremost about the new Saints. But nevertheless, I guess you have to try and look into the crystal ball and predict what the opponent's tactics will be so you can work around that. Yeah, always. Um, you know, you, you look at the teams we played and um, you look, if you look at our defeats, we've lost four games in the league and, and three have come from teams in the, in the bottom six. We'll be facing them again. We always do well against um, so-called uh, better teams, stronger teams. So, if you look at the, the results we've had against the top six teams, been very good. I think there's still room for improvement against them. Um, you know, we, we drew a new town away. We lost the Connors Key away, which possibly should have been a draw. Um, so that'll take care of itself. We're you know we're in a good position. There's eleven uh, eleven games to go. Thirty three points. A lot of points to still play for. Um, I've got my own target that I think we can reach um, and it'll be very similar to, to when we won the league last season. So we are in a good position, we're in good shape and, and the lads are really um, performing well consistently week in, week out with a settled side. Um, you know, going to this game and then the next competitive game is Airbus. We certainly won't be taking uh, those lightly. We'll be continuing with a, with a strong team and if that team continues to win, we'll be keeping the same team. And finally, start availability for the Clan Athlete game. Yeah, we've, um, I think, just Christian Sargent possibly uh, will miss the game. Um, and that's about it, I think. Um, everyone else will be, will be available.